Hey everybody, it's time for this week's edition of Pete's Points. I'm Pete Blank, right outside the beautiful 2121 building in downtown Birmingham where I work. And I want to talk about a word that affects everybody, whether you work in the city or in the county or for the state or for a private organization, no matter where you work. I want to talk today about the word we and what the word we means. I was doing a training class today for about 30 local government employees and we were talking about Bruce Tuckman's four stages of team development. I'll put a link below in case you haven't heard of these, but they're forming, storming, norming, and performing. And it's all about how to build a high performance team. When we were talking about high performing teams, one of the things that really stuck out at me is people said, we like people who use the word we instead of the word they when they are covering up or making apologies or taking care of the customer. Let me give you an example of that. Back when I worked in Walt Disney World at Port Orleans front desk, we would often have guests come up and complain and say, well, housekeeping told me this, or the restaurant told me that. And they were given wrong information. Well, I have two answers to that. I can say, well, they gave you wrong information, or I can say, I apologize, we gave you the wrong information. We told you incorrectly. Now, some people bristle at that because they say, I didn't do anything wrong. But when you're talking about a team, whether it's an organizational team, a district team, a departmental team, or a, just a local team of four people that you work with, you have to get on the same page. And you do that by using the word we more often than not. It works so much better than they. So here's what I want you to do this week. Listen around to people when mistakes happen, when customers complain, when bad things uh, happen in your organization. Do your employees say, they shouldn't have told you that, they gave you the wrong information? Or do they say, we shouldn't have told you that, we gave you the wrong information, even if it wasn't their department? That shows they're on their way to becoming a high-performing team. Listen up this week and see, are you a we team or are you a they team? You really want to try and be a we team because they're normally much more high-performing. And that's all I got for you. It's Pete's Points for this week.